Hermanston High School got back from the 96th annual FFA competition in Indianapolis, Indiana, bringing home more than just some great memories. This week I met with a few of the many students who were in the HHS Agricultural Program and learned about the school's prolific career in FFA. Um, we've got something around 170 state titles built up at this point. According to FFA advisor Sandy McKay, Hermiston High School has won at least one state title in a contest every year, going back as far as they can be remembered. And they've got the banners on display to prove it. We've had a, a very strong tradition of producing really strong leaders here at Hermiston High School, and we're very proud of that. Long before the fall's national convention, at the state comp in March, seniors can choose to apply for a chance to become an Oregon FFA officer, representing their state, sharing their knowledge, and being a leader for the future farmers of America. Hermiston High School has now fostered four students to that level. Uh, so we've been pretty fortunate and, and through a weird twist of fate. I don't know what's in our water, but in the last five years... They've all been elected as the vice president. And so I don't know, I couldn't tell you, but it's kind of... It's kind of funny when I was running, a little part of me was like, I hope I get vice president and keep the tradition going. Kylie Temple is the fourth vice president in the Oregon FFA team that's come out of Hermiston High School. She won the Oregon state title for the public speaking competition her senior year, but made the hard decision to go to the national competition as a leader in the Oregon FFA officer team rather than as a competitor and pass the opportunity on to the state's runner up. Being able to represent not only Hermiston, not only Oregon, but an industry in a whole, that's something I take great pride in and I feel very honored. While Kylie was representing the state, Hermiston high schoolers competed among the best teams across the nation. Uh, the conduct team has been working for over a year to get to this point. The parliamentary procedure team has been going for two years at this point um, and they put in just uncountable hours and, and dedication to, to get, reach this. And those hours paid off, bringing a gold medal to Hermiston High School's Conduct of Chapter Meetings team and silver to the Parliamentary Procedure team. It was super fun because we got to watch our younger Conduct of Chapter Meetings team compete. We got to help them get ready and kind of re-experience like how they had all the nerves the first time competing at Natty's. Junior Peyton Howard and last year's sophomore parliamentary procedure team made its second national appearance in two years. For Peyton, FFA wasn't something she thought she would still be competing in by late in her high school career. And then um, we kept winning, so now I've been doing this for three years. Some students come into FFA knowing what the plan is, but for some students like Peyton and like Kylie, it wasn't planned until it happened. Now with medals, titles, and experience, they're off to conquer the ag world. For Kylie, she's making moves in local ag, studying renewable energy efforts at Three Mile Canyon Farms in Boardman, Oregon. Uh, her speech was on anaerobic respiration and how you, that can be used to convert um, manure from things like dairies and feedlots into energy, uh, which she appropriately titled poop power. But in simple terms, it's a cool project. Um, that dairies and anyone really with bio waste can use um, to one, create biogas and two, create substrate or fertilizers. Um, and then also three, if you wanna take it one step further, which I'm really hopeful for the science of how can we cleanse that water and use it again. I'm hoping that poop power will be used for good. While Kylie does her year of service as the Oregon FFA vice president, meeting with stakeholders, businesses, and doing school visits, workshops, and holding leadership camps. Hermiston High School is rooted in agriculture with three dedicated ag teachers, a dedicated shop teacher, and around 540 students in the agriculture program learning industry, career, and leadership skills.